Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about fighters that need a win at UFC Vegas 91. And the first one, I don't think it's any question, has, it has to be Gabriel Benitez. Gabriel Benitez, 23 wins, 11 losses, is a little bit older at this point, 35, he'll be 36 years old here in a couple of months, about a month and a half. Again, 23 and 11, a lot of experience, but he's also 7 and 7 in the UFC. 14 overall fights. This is his 15th fight. The issue is, especially obviously being almost 36, he has, he's been finished five times in the UFC. He, he has five finishes. You know, and this is a guy that <clears throat> has 19 finishes out of his 23 wins, has a, uh, 12 finishes in the first round. So I, I, this is a guy that goes out there and he's he, he's been finished five times in the first as well. So this is a guy that goes out, wins, loses. It's probably a pretty good fight. And the fight coming up here this weekend is, I don't think, any different, to be honest. Six days from now. Fear Mahashat Hayashar, Hayashar, Mahashat, the guy that knocked out um, Steve Garcia. So, you know... He came into the UFC at, uh, in, in obviously in the Ultimate Fighter as we know him, beating Diego Rivas, losing to, against Leonardo Morales, but he debuted in his UFC 180, Verdum vs. Hunt. Against Humberto Brown Morrison, defeated him, guillotine round number three. He was 16-4. and four. I think that's crazy to, to, to try to think about. Uh, won his first... Um, <clears throat> two, uh, two, he actually went two, four, five, five and two in his first, what is that? Seven fights, five and two. It's crazy that when you start fighting upper echelon, uh, fighters besides Omar Morales, you know, he's had a couple back-to-back -back losses. Like he lost to uh, Andre Feely, got back on track, lost to Barzola, got back on track, lost to Zadie Yusuf, Marias, beat Justin James, lost to Billy Q. Lost to David Ornama, beat Charlie Ontiveros, who's not good, terrible, if I might say, and then loses to Jim Miller. Now, if you're following that, he's probably scheduled to lose this one, and then he'll win his next one. So, with it, with a guy like Gabriel Benitez, who's going to go out there, and he's going to go right at Mahashate. And he was doing well things against Jim Miller. Um, Jim's versus, versus um, him being well-rounded in that fight. Kind of kind of helped him, obviously, which he could have done against uh, Bobby Green. Just didn't fight that way. Um, and then Mahashati, 24 years old, five finishes of his nine wins. Uh, lost one by TKO in the second round against Slava Claus. You know I'm a big fan of Slava Claus. But he knocked out Steve Garcia. Lost to uh, Gar uh, 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 Rafa Garcia. Lost to Slava Claus. This is a guy that has some beautiful striking. So watch out early because, again, like I said, uh, uh, Gabriel Benitez has 12 first-round finishes, 7 TKO, 5 submissions. This is a guy that goes out there in that first round and goes right at fighters. Now, he may take a little bit of a different approach in this one because, obviously, he's been finished 5 times and he was 5-2 and two and he's 2-5 and five since then with being finished a few times, obviously. Um, and, you know, whether my predictions or whatever that video is that I will put a card up above so you guys will remember that or be able to see that you can click on it. Next one I think is Nia Li Yang. She was 19 and three when she signed with the UFC and she's currently 19 and seven. I'm sorry. She was 19 and four. My bad. 19 and seven lost three and been finished all three of them. Her longest fight was her last one against JJ Aldridge. She was finished in the late in the second round. And J.J. Aldrich is not anything really special. She's decent, decently, defensively sound, but she's also been finished a few times in her career. This isn't some girl that's, you know, she's been finished only once, I guess, with punches. I think that was who finished her. Oh, Macy Barber. Yep, knees and punches finished her. And then Blanchfield submitted her. And then, yeah. So, again... You know, Na Liang, Dragon Girl, they call her. She is fighting a pretty decent opponent at that level to where the UFC is still like, okay, you've lost against these decent girls. How do you do against a girl that lost her UFC debut? 
how do you do? So, Gabriel Benitez, Na Liang, and then like Dante Mays has to be there. 10 and 6 overall, 7 finishes. He's been finished three times. He's 3 4 0 oh, and 1 in, in, in his UFC record, in his UFC career. You know, he did get a big win against Andre Arlovsky, but at this point, Andre Arlovsky, he's 46 years old. 46 or 45? 45. He's even born in 79, so 45. He's lost to Nascimento twice, so he's 10 and 4. Um, <laughs> he wasn't submitted by him, so I guess cool there but doesn't really mean anything to be honest you know has some couple wins technically he should be 10 and 7 Hamdi decision was overturned because he was on PEDs shocker there if you watch that fight but Kai Macha- uh, Ma- Machado Machado Jesus is a, is a decent opponent for him you know but definitely is on the verge of being cut from the UFC you'd have to think the only thing that may save him, save him is that he's a heavyweight that's it Austin Hubbard, same thing. Pretty good everywhere, but kind of his IQ puts him in bad spots sometimes. And he'll get submitted or he'll lose a decision where he had moments in. It just, he's never been able to put it together. And I think at 31 years old, maybe 32, yeah, 32 now. Um, I'll be 33 in December. So 32 years old, kind of need to start putting it together, to be honest. You know, and then... There's another one, like Tim Means, 33-15-1. and one. He's 15-12-1 in the UFC. You know, he's been finished um, five times in the first round, twice by punches, which only once in the UFC, if I remember correctly. Uh, da 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 Yatin. Where is it? Nico Price finished him. But I don't see any other punches. It says two TKO losses. Well, I don't see them. So I guess <laughs> whatever. I know the one, obviously, as as we had watched it. You know, so, uh, you know, Nico Price, he was having a lot of moments in there. Nico actually fought pretty well in that matchup. Destroyed Andre Filio, which I hope he would. You know, he, he did really, really good things in that fight. But fighting the guy that he's fighting might give him some problems on age and also just length. And if Tim Means at 40 years old can still take that punishment. Interesting to see there. And then another one is Austin Lane. 12-4, and 4, UFC records 0-1. The biggest problem with him is his chin is just bad. Like, he's a guy that can definitely crack, he's fast, but he can't take a shot to save his damn life. He, he just can't. That, that's that's the reality. He cannot. And the next is, is last is, is Ryan's man. 7-4 in the UFC doesn't show how bad this guy actually is. Now, he has 18 finishes, but he's always been finished six times. And a couple of those, five finishes are in the first round. Only one sub in the second round, loss-wise. Again, it, 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 it's, it's one of those things where 10 submissions in the first round wins for Ryan Span. One in the second, one in the third. All of, if he gets a TKO win, it's in the first round. This is the guy that's pretty well-rounded. You know, I think if he can get Guskov late, later in a fight, he can do good things. But like I said in my prediction video, I don't know if he can do that. But coming off of two losses where he destroyed Dominic Reyes, which... Not surprised. Reyes is terrible. Not surprised. Uh, It's one of those things where Span, at this point, if he can't put it together, I don't think he's going to. He's 32 years old. He'll be 33 here in about four months and three days, to be exact. He has all the tools. It's it's in his mind. It's making decisions because the last decision when he fought Anthony Smith was trash when he thought... uh, um, Nikita Krylov, bad, not good. But those are the fighters that I think absolutely need to show out, show up, and prove why they should be in the UFC. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Peace.